So the inspiration for setting up Sheffield on a plate came from multiple sources and I guess that really reflects how we've actually come together as quite a wide uh, partnership. We knew that there was a Students Green Fund and we decided to ask uh, our staff and students uh, what they felt were the most important environmental issues. Food sustainability came out as the top issue. Sheffield College reached out to us here at Sheffield Students Union uh, and said you know, let's work together on a project. The college has a catering course so we quickly realised that they could actually teach our students uh, a great deal of practical things. What we did was we put on a food demonstration which was about cooking um, sustainable food, locally sourced food and we invited students from Hallam and Sheffield Uni to come along. Six from each institution were chosen to take part in what we call the Student Sustainability Master Chef. They were taught by our two of our chefs, who are both Master Chefs of Great Britain, but they were also taught by some of our catering students. Um, and the course culminated in a Master Chef competition. The meal was, was absolutely gorgeous that was produced by the students. A lot of the students were so positive about the experience and it was a lovely exchange of skills really because for our students to be teaching university students was actually a really lovely experience. The guys from Hallam Union approached the college and again wanted to work together and we thought about what was it that Hallam expertise was and particularly we thought it was about things like marketing, digital media. The volunteers from Sheffield Hallam were made up of two groups so we had a group of events volunteers and a group of marketing volunteers. The marketing volunteers were in charge of uh, updates on the website, they made videos, they basically were in charge of documenting the whole experience of the project whereas the events volunteers were meant to produce a showcase at the end of the year but they were also in charge of doing everything for the event so they were in charge of booking the catering, getting everything sorted, planning how they, like, the night would go. Um, and they also ran a social as well. One of the things we've really learnt during this project is about the volunteer infrastructure that already exists at the University of Sheffield and at Hallam. And being able to tap into that has been a fantastic resource for a small organisation like ours. It was suggested to me that uh, the charity Grow Sheffield would be a good partner to work with because they're an umbrella group for uh, food sustainability projects across the city and that Fair Share would be good to work with because of their expertise in dealing with uh, surplus food and food poverty. So the big stew had two aims. The first aim was to obviously provide a big stew. So this was a mass cooking event uh, to try and feed I think around a th thousand stu students over the three campuses. Uh, the aim was to also use surplus food for the catering and that surplus food was provided by Fersher. The volunteers for the Big Stew were um, largely nutrition students so they helped a lot with the preparation of the day so they helped with the cutting and all the cooking and everything and they did a lot of the serving on the day. Uh, we also had volunteers helping on the day in terms of the events management of it so handing out flyers encouraging people to come along and eat the stew which was really helpful because it was quite dark by the time the stew had got round to Hallam. And volunteers were also in charge of taking pledges from the crowd so all of the five pledges that we had, they were in charge of taking those, encouraging them to sign up, so using iPads to get information and just sharing basically the message of the project. I think the Big Stew was actually the event that we did during the two years that really pulled on all the strengths of the Sheffield and Life project and partnership. We were able to have a massive reach and feed 1,100 people plus in a day uh, using Hallam's teaching kitchens, college's expertise, um, Fair Share's links with surplus food and uh, Grow Sheffield's links with the Abundance project. It's just a wonderful example of how by bringing those five groups together, you could create something that's more than the sum of its parts. Our president, Emily Connor, um, met with University Catering and found out that they were throwing a huge amount of food away 
at the end of the week um, that hadn't been sold. Um, and our students really wanted to do something about this and therefore they created this project where we would collect the food every Friday and take it to the Salvation Army. Since March we've redistributed 5,000 sandwiches and in the future we want to expand this more by doing it outside of the University of Sheffield and the Student Union and actually going into the city and helping other local businesses understand how they can do this to help the local population. Right, Sheffield on the Plate has been a fantastic initiative um, and it is quite a shame that two years of funding has come to an end but kind of seeing some of the, um, the strands of the project already like, emerging on a long-term basis and how we can start using the students who've already started changing their, their practices and how we um, as institutions can start recognising our part to play more and more and um, I think it's definitely been a game changer in the way that we work. So now we're going to focus on being really student-led, having the people from the three different institutions telling us uh, what it is that students want to achieve and then coming together and thinking about what are the different ways that those institutions plus charities plus the council can work together to really help students deliver change and sustainability in Sheffield.